This is the instructional video for the long distance spinner. This is a great flourish, great card stunt to do. Um, it might take some time, it takes practice, it took me quite a while to get this down. Don't get, don't get distressed, keep practicing this. It takes time to build your thumb strength up and to really be able to take all the pressure that it takes on your thumb. Uh, I'd pick up a rubber thumb tip. If I were you, go ahead, grab one, make sure that it's rubber, that's critical, and practice this with a rubber thumb tip at first. It's going to gain strength in your thumb, and you're going to learn the proper mechanics. Once you have the mechanics, it's just practice. So you might watch this and then be like, hi, I don't know how to do this, it's not working. Keep trying. Don't give up. This is a move that takes practice, takes work. I want to tell you that at first. Now for the grip. Start off with about 20 cards. Use less than half the deck if you can. Here's the grip in your right hand. Between your pinky and forefinger, you're going to hold the pack of cards just like this. Your middle finger and ring finger are going to bend the cards in so that they're concave. Now notice, this is a very strong grip. This is like a death grip on the cards. You should be able to shake the cards up and down. Look at this. Really shake them. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay? That's how strong the grip should be on these cards. It's critical to doing the uh, long distance spinner. So you're going to cave them in just like that. That's what it should look like in your hand. Now your thumb, this portion of your thumbnail, the outer right portion of your thumbnail is going to do all the work. You're going to bend your thumb in and place it, push it hard right against this corner of the cart, the one nearest to your pinky right there in the bottom, the bottom left corner so to speak. You're going to place it in there and the move is a combination of snapping your fingers straight up, okay? getting the right amount of friction, what that's going to do is it's going to buckle the card. There's a m millisecond that it's going to buckle the card and then your finger's going to snap so it's going to allow that buckle to snap into snapping the card out. It's a knack. I'm going to show you what it looks like a few times when I do it. Just like that, okay? Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to try and do it in slow motion. It's not going to go nearly as far, but just so you can get an idea. Snap, okay? So that the card is going to spin out. The card is going to spin out this way. It's going to revolve this way in the air, so you get an idea. From when you're looking at it, it's going to spin clockwise. So, your thumb just goes straight up. Like I said, a rubber thumb tip is going to help greatly. So you can see the motion. The motion is critical. My thumb is going to snap straight up. Once you have the mechanics, this is just practice. Square the deck. Really, really hold that tight. Snap your thumb. Okay? Snap it straight up. That's the long distance spinner. Give it the practice it needs, and you're going to have a truly good sport. You're really good, and you're going to use it everywhere. Here's the bonus effect using the long distance spinner. Um, you can go ahead and have a spectator shuffle a deck of cards up, take it back from them, and take them, tell them to take half the deck and to take out any card they want. So let's say they take this one out, the seven of hearts. You're going to take the card back from them and put it back into your half. And when you close up the pack, you can double undercut their card to the bottom just by catching a break below it and double undercutting. Now the reason I'm saying to use half a pack is it's much easier to do a long distance spinner with half the deck. Once you get good enough at it, you can use the whole deck and be able to snap it out the same way. For now, that's a good excuse for just using half the pack. At this point, take the, deck, the uh, half deck containing their card at the bottom in position for a long distance spinner and have the seven hearts facing you the selection. So it's going to shoot out face down from their vantage point. And tell them it's like skeet shooting. That's how you're going to find their card. Just like, you know, pull and bang. You're going to shoot at it with a shotgun. Only instead, you're going to catch it in midair. So you tell them, go ahead and just say pull whenever you want. And they go, one, you know, they go pull. And you go, bam. Right when they say pull, you just catch their card. Fire it out. Turn it around. Stunning card revolution using a long distance spinner.